Um, what I thought I would do is I would introduce you to the neck that I know, the sensitive, romantic, loving husband that he is. Uh -oh. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you a story about how we got together. Um, in 1997, we were friends and have been friends for years, um, but I had a very rough year. Um, I had been working on a doctorate, and, and I had been working away diligently, and in August I got hit by a car walking across the street. So I had a really, really tough year. I was in physical therapy, all manner of other things, and Nick had had his own kind of tough year too. It had been about three, maybe even four weeks since he had had sex. <laughs> to help me out. When I come over for New Year's, let's shag. <laughs> so he did, he came over, he stayed with me, and he promptly ignored me for about three days. <laughs> he did successfully fend off several other very wild attempts to get him into bed by every single other person that lived with me in the house. Um, no, 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 he wasn't going to do that though, he was romantic. So, so he saved all of this. He left off on those three days, and he saved that kiss for New Year's Eve. And to make it even more romantic, he made sure he got into a shot contest with one of my friends right before it. <laughs> Fourteen shots in, and he kissed me at midnight. <laughs> and it was a stunning kiss. Uh, made more so by the fact <laughs> That soon after, he got naked and passed out. <laughs> uh, my romantic wasn't done with me. Right about 3 o'clock in that morning, I heard him scream, Fuck! As in, I heard him bang his head on the bottom of the toilet. <laughs> naked into my bed. So, you know, the next morning we had sex. <laughs> and Nick proves his devotion to me five minutes later, when he's out of bed, when I'm still laying there, satisfied as can be, he says, so, what happens if I want to have sex with someone else? <laughs> for two whole years. <laughs> no, 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 it gets better. <laughs> so we got engaged, and he went back to the UK to finish up some stuff that he was doing there, and I was trying to finish up my dissertation work, um, and he invited me over to see him in a play. Um, a play in which he was wearing an absolutely skin-tight, sparkling, spangly outfit. Oh. Um, so I, I, I flew from Houston to London, and then from London I bust up to Manchester, where he was. Um, and I'd been traveling for about 24 hours. I got to his house, I had enough time to get into the shower and get ready for his show. And while I'm in the shower, he says to me, oh, by the way, I'm going to introduce you to the director when all this is over. There's an after party. And um, I fucked him a couple of weeks ago. And ran out of the So, so, then, nevertheless, we did actually get married, um, despite, his, despite his attempt at self-sabotage. And he's remained quite romantic. For example, um, <laughs> when we're done with sex. <laughs> Such as...
Which, what's the better one? Lawsuit. Lawsuit? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what? Just a couple of things to show how loving he is. I'm sure that I'm over my time, but... Oh, no. surgery, it was a pretty common surgery, but he was there for me beforehand holding my hand, and then afterwards when I came out, he took care of me by painting a mustache <laughs> on my, on my, on my uh, bandages and posting it to Facebook. <laughs> Socks to match. <laughs> Do you know who the mustache was? Oh, yeah. 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 And then one, just one other thing. Um, just, just a couple of weekends ago, we celebrated our 15th anniversary. <laughs> to a spa. So we got a massage, we got a facial, we got manicures and pedicures. It was really lovely. And we're sitting there holding hands as we're getting our feet done, getting the pedicure. And he looks over at me with those lovely eyes and he smiles and he says, your chin is so weird. <laughs> Should he be locked somewhere still? Um, 